Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create VPC in GCP environment and we also configure two subnets, public and private. And in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can use Terraform to do exactly the same thing. Let's get started. Let's create the VPC itself and we're gonna call it main VPC and we're not gonna uh, create any subnets yet. So we're gonna delete that part and we're gonna select region VPC and we're gonna keep all other settings default. Let's create VPC. Okay, now when VPC is ready, we can take a look on routes. So right now we have uh, two, uh, well, one single route. We have the default route that will uh, take you to the internet gateway. So in AdWords, you have to create internet gateway and place it in your subnet in GCP. It is provided for you by default, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, let's go and create the public subnet. Let's click on the main VPC. And here you can add subnet and let's call it public public subnet and we're gonna use um, US West uh, US West 2 and it's not gonna be reserved for internal load balancer and the seeder will be 10 0 0 0 24 so we're gonna start with this and do we want to enable private Google access? No, because we have the public IP addresses in that subnet. So we're gonna keep it off and we don't want any logs. Okay, let's create the public subnet. And it's gonna show up in a couple of seconds here. Okay, well, it was created and well, it's public. It has internet gateway as a default route and you can create your VMs and have access to internet. So let's go ahead and create the private subnet. Let's call it private. Uh, we're gonna use exactly the same region, US to S2. And same thing, no. And range gonna be one zero twenty four, and in this case we actually want to have the private google access so it's like uh, access uh, if you don't have public ip addresses you can still have access to all internal google api ipas okay let's click on and we don't want any logs let's create this subnet So by default, we have the default route to Internet Gateway. So uh, this private subnet still, you, if you create your VMs and those VMs will have the public IP addresses, you still have access to Internet. And since that default route applied to all subnets, but we're not going to have any uh, public IP addresses, but we still need to download some software, maybe install some packages and the way to do it in GCP, you still need to create the NAT gateway. And let's go ahead and create a NAT gateway. And before, actually, we need uh, to create something called Cloud Router. So if you type in the search bar Cloud Router, let's create Cloud Router, get started, get, uh, and let's call it Router and well we're gonna apply it to our main vpc in our region and we're gonna keep it default and well actually we don't need to advertise this so let's keep it custom and not you're not gonna provide anything here so let's create this route okay so it's been created and the next step is to create NAT gateway and select your uh, IP ranges where that NAT gateway will be mapped. So let's go to the NAT 
Network uh, Services, uh, Cloud NAT Gateway, and Create NAT Gateway. Let's call it NAT. Uh, VPC Network Main Region US West 2. And then we need to specify our router here. So let's take this one. And under net mapping, let's specify only our uh, private subnet. So it's going to be not the all subnets, not only primary subnets, but custom. And under custom, you can select the subnets. So you can choose the private subnet. And so, and use all IP addresses, all ranges in that subnet. And here under IP address, so you still, for the NAT gateway, you need a public IP address to translate your private IP address. And in some cases, uh, it's recommended by default to use automatic, but in some cases, if you need to provide and whitelist your private IP address with a client, you may create uh, the IP address and then use your own public IP address with this uh, NAT. So you can select here menu and create your own IP address, but we're going to use automatic here. Let's create this. All right, so let's take a look what we have by now. If we have two VPC networks, we can see that we have two subnets, a private subnet and public subnet. And this private subnet has not gateway. And this public has just a default internet gateway as a route. And under routes, you can see that we have the default route for all VPC to default internet gateway and then local routes to your subnets. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Terraform to create same thing. Thanks.